big day here at the Atlanta United Training Grounds. A big announcement, the MLS transfer window closed yesterday, but a big announcement here today, why? Yeah, so it went down to the wire. It felt like I was back at my days at Spurs. And uh, uh, I promise you the reason we didn't delay it till today was just because today's my birthday, but it was like <laughs> a nice treat to be able to announce that we got Luis joining us uh, today. But it went right down to the wire and we have to agree the paper with Major League of Soccer. And by the time we got it all agreed, uh, it was very late in France for Lille. And, Lille have been really good to us throughout the process. I think you can sense that they're a top club to work with because nothing leaked at all in terms of the, the transfer. And they right. obviously wanted to be able to announce him at the same time as us. So we agreed to delay it till, till this morning. So uh, you know, we're excited to get him. He's a player that we think is going to be a great talent. And as we said, he's a, he's a detonate player. And you know, that's just a roster mechanism, as you know, in Major League Soccer, where we've got the ability to, to create space to bring a player like him in. And we're pleased to have got him in. Tell us about him. Why him? Yeah, no, we're really excited to get Luis on board. Um, I think this window has been really good for the league. There's been a lot of speculation. Mm -hmm. You know, you've had even Fabrizio Romano sort of tweeting out when various teams are signing players. And I think that's a good sign of where the league's going. But, but for us, as you know, we were linked with a lot of players during the window. Um, but Luis is someone that's been on our radar for a while. And if I'm honest, I didn't think, you know, Lille were the champions of France last year. You know, they beat PSG in the, in the regular season. He was a key contributor to their team so we were really excited when we found out near the end of the window that there was an opportunity that we could uh, we could get Luis so uh, we did everything we could to make it happen and we got there sort of down to the wire uh, and managed to get it done. You mentioned Lille, a place he was able to make an instant impact. Why can he do that with this Atlanta United squad? Yeah I mean I think look I think it's really impressive because we know the French League is very physical it's probably one of the most physical leagues in the world so we feel it's the skills and the attributes are going to translate well into MLS. Um, and so for him to be a contributor with Lille, with some great coaches, he obviously had Bielsa when he first went there. Christophe Gautier is someone that Carlos knows really well from his time when he was his coach at St Etienne, uh, speaks very highly of him. So, you know, for us, we feel like he's someone that's going to really hit the ground running in Major League Soccer and make the impact that we're looking for. You know, we were quite outspoken that we wanted to get an attacking piece in mm -hmm. for this window. And uh, we feel that Luis is going to be someone that's really going to help us take a uh, take the team to the next level. A 25-year-old Brazilian forward, how does he fit in with this Atlanta United team? Yeah, look, we like him. He's very direct, he's very quick. Um, he tends to play on the right and cut into one of his favorite left foot, which I think will fit well with our team. Uh, the other thing we really like about him is he does the work in defense as well. And, and that was really important to us as we build the profile of our players. Uh, they need to be able to go both ways. And he's someone that's shown he can do that. So, you know, we feel like he's going to be someone that's really going to help us get the best out of the rest of the team. And obviously we're excited. We've seen Joseph scoring recently. Marcelino Moreno is playing really well. Barco started every game for Argentina in the Olympics and got a great assist the other day. So we feel like we're getting those attacking pieces together now. And as you know, we've still got half a season to go. So, you know, it's all pushed now to try and get into the playoffs. It's so nice to have the band all back together. Uh, the head coach search is still ongoing. Can you talk to me about bringing in a player like this while the head coach search is still going on? Yeah, I mean, I think, um, look, firstly, we have a sort of player profile of the types of players that we want at Atlanta United. And um, while we're going through the head coach search, we still wanted to improve the squad this season. We had the allocation spot to be able to bring someone in, a player like Luis that could make an impact. So for us, this is a player that any manager who's going to manage Atlanta United is going to want because he's the sort of player, exciting, dynamic, uh, and like I said, is exciting going forwards, but also does the work rate coming backwards. So for us, any coach that we're going to bring in, we feel confident they're going to love a player like Luis. The big question, when's Luis coming? Yeah, so we've got to work on that, obviously, with visas. Our hope is to try, you know, if we get a lot of luck, we could be having them available for the LAFC game on the 15th of August. Now, that depends on visas, etc. But but that's obviously what we'll be pushing for. Uh, I think the good thing is he's obviously had pre-season, so he's fit and ready to play. He actually played 85 minutes, started for Lille against Paris Saint-Germain in the sort of pre-season Super Cup that they had, and Lille won that game. So, you know, he's a player that is ready to play and ready to make an impact. So uh, as soon as we can get him in, uh, we'll get him in. He's coming in fit and ready. So exciting, exciting times for Atlanta United. Darren Niels, thank you so much. Thanks, Neil.